What's up guys, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. Worldwide Edition. And we did a, a, a big, first of all, big shout out to my good friend, John Paradori. Okay? You know him? Uh, yeah, I do. You know him? Yeah, he's... And his lovely girlfriend, Mindy. Shout out. I've been asking for a globe, and he found one. Right? He did. So here it is. I missed the globe, the exchange. I was out running some tools. Oh, yeah? Areas, but when I got you, back, there was a globe here. And we did a TikTok video with the globe this morning, and we explained why we needed the globe. Can, we, can, I, can I do a quick little zip, zip, zip? Yeah, yeah. Okay. People always ask, whenever we post something, do you, do you ship to UK? Do you ship to Alaska? Do you ship to Poland? Do you ship to Ireland? What's another country they always ask? Uh, Guam. Guam. One. Guam. And the question is, if it falls, hang on, if it falls on this round sphere we know, know as the world, we ship there. But there's a couple of uh, catches. Okay, I'm gonna break it down real quick, so follow along. JD Tico is based out of the United States, that's right over here, out of New Jersey. We will ship anywhere in a continent of the United States for absolutely nothing, free, zero. If you live in Alaska, or you live in Hawaii, Alaska, Hawaii, most of our deals, if we ship from here, not a problem. We can ship, right? Yeah, and Puerto Rico and Guam. They and will Puerto ship Rico in and Guam. Priority. If it ships from here, though. Yeah, yeah, from here. Port. Yes. If it's a priority package, yep. it'll ship free. First class and stuff you can do. How about AP, a, API posts? Yeah, we do a military lot of, post. Do we a lot of those in a while. Do a lot of those. Not a problem. Free shipping. Okay. So say you want to ship outside of that area. Say you want to ship to this one, Russia. I don't think Russia's good to ship. To no bueno. Country. They're currently not accepting any packages. Or the Ukraine, no good. But besides there, say you live in Ireland, you want a, you want a, you want a set of twin grips. How much are twin grips, Nick? Forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. You send us forty-five dollars, and you pay for the twin grips. Now we got to see how much it costs to ship the twin grips. So we go to the scale, put the twin grips on there, and give you a, a, an exact shipping quote. At that point, you can pay it or not pay it. If you don't pay it, we will refund your money instantly. JD Tico is a very 100% stand-up company and we will refund your money on the spot. We don't want your money, we want you to get your tools, right? Yes. Stand-up company, <clears throat> small business. So that's how we do it. So if you live in Ireland and you want a set of, uh, you want one of the hot new JD Tico drop lights, okay? You can uh, pay for it and we'll give you a shipping quote. If it's too much money, refund. That is JD Tico's shipping policy wrapped up in a nutshell and like i said the only place we can't currently ship to is ukraine and russia and it's uh for many reasons maybe one day when the world's a better place send stuff to ukraine they need some supplies we should send some stuff to ukraine yeah we should send some stuff what do they need some pew pews yeah maybe some, they, they might need some, some lights tools. they might need some lights okay it seems like they have a lot of tanks in their hands now so maybe they need some tools to work on said tanks they got a lot of broken down equipment they need some uh, tools to get that ship back up back up and running guys Listen, let's talk about problems. And so let me tell you what JD Tico did this week. We came up with a light. Magnetic, 1,000 looms, Type-C charger, protective covering, so it'll help us in a little bit of a drop situation. And uh, high and low setting, six hours on, high, on low, three hours on high. How much is it? Uh, $49. $49. And this I put together to compete with the Maxi. Not compete with it, to smash it in the ass. This one you could drop, and it ain't gonna break. It's got a cover on it. That thing you drop it, it's like a, like a puzzle, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So anyway, buy my light, support the JD Tico with new products, so we can come out with more, even more new products. And let me tell you something. One of the biggest problems in the industry today is supply and demand, right? New tool comes out. It's a good tool. Boom, it's gone, and we can't find it for months, and it sucks. I hate that shit. So what I did, I make my own, right? I yeah. make my own. So we had these couple, check this out. That's the JD Tico warranty checker. They call it a wrench extender. Me, I call it a warranty checker. I'll tell you why. We did a little demo on TikTok yesterday. It works on a six millimeter, works on a 32 millimeter. It'll probably go to a 36 millimeter. I didn't have one in the store, so I couldn't really check it. But check this out. That's a beautiful piece. Okay. Hmm. And, uh, they, a couple of companies came out with these this year, and they would sell out, right? Yeah. And they would sell out. We had to give refunds, and we couldn't get more. It happened like, oh, I mean, over the last two years probably, yeah. was it? 
I mean, numerous times. And then they get in, they come in, we order a bunch of them, sell them, sell out, oversell, refunds. I hate giving refunds, right? I hate yeah, it. It's annoying. And so, then people get mad at you sometimes. They get mad at you. And I'm like, oh, I, 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 I ran out. Oh, I, was, I was sleeping and you guys were shopping and I ran out. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I had to buy a thousand of these to get my name on them. A thousand. Okay? With that pretty packaging. I like our JT Eagle packaging. You? Yeah, it's the nice. black and white classic. We're in, an old, we're in a 1930s plumbing supply house, so we like to keep our old school feel, right? Yeah. So these are $25, right? Yes. $25. So send $25, bucks, we will send you one of these in the mail. Anywhere anywhere in the world. Any Free shipping in New Jersey. Free shipping in, in Alaska and Hawaii also. Yeah, this will ship to Alaska. Of course they will. Free. Yeah, they will. What? We, you, you have any customers in Alaska? Yeah, we had a couple guys. We had a lot of customers in Alaska. Hawaii. How about Hawaii? We do Hawaii. We got Hawaii. Yeah, we got Hawaii. We ship worldwide. And this week, while we were still a little, uh, you know, we're feeling lazy, we said, you know what? The world, sometimes the world doesn't like things that are dead or not their color, right? They want, they don't like red, per se, right? Well, red and orange, right? Red. No, this is red. This is orange. It's red. Look at that's color. orange. Well, this is a shade of orange. This is a shade of orange. Look, 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 that's, like a, that's like a little color spectrum here. Anyway, so what did I do? <clears throat> while I was, you know, had nothing else to do, I said, you know, let me change the world. Okay. Green handles. So maybe you have some red tools in your toolbox. You want to put green handles on? We can do that for you. What's going on outside? Cop cars, cop cars, honking the horn. And like these, if you don't, if you want a green handle on these, guess what? We, we, we make them for them too. Slip right on, never come off. Okay. And the, how much are these? How, how much are these? Uh, twelve dollars. Twelve bucks. So if you are a, a, a green tool fanatic and you really like green, no matter what tool it is, I, don't, I can't say what brand this is, but you know what it is. These will slip right over it for twelve bucks. Tell us what pliers you got. We'll send you a pair of uh, green covers. And uh, what we're going to do in the future is we have a multi-pack size. We're going to be packing up, and you can buy a package of handles, and you can see what fits, what don't fit, and you can buy more as you need them. You can change your whole. Look, our goal is for you to change <clears throat> your every set. We have any, I don't have any bars, right? The green, uh, our green flush cuts. You know, they're all they're gone. They're right? all been not shipped. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it so you can change your whole toolbox plier handles to one color okay we changed the world and that's a jd Tico exclusive and, and, and other fun facts for the week uh elon musk has purchased twitter and i can't wait for him to buy facebook so i can finally let let the dogs off the leash yeah maybe we'll have to do make a jd Tico twitter i don't know what we'll post on there but well, i'll get up twitter let's do twitter i can say anything i want on twitter well what no what? No? That's the whole thing right now. You can't say whatever you want on Twitter. Oh, in six months I can? Maybe. Okay. I'm just, hey, listen, man. I was never on Twitter, but I was never on TikTok either. Whoa. Yes. We have the Milwaukee Color Match Light. Okay? And if you know what a Color Match Light is, you need it. If you don't know what it is, you don't need it. Right? Yeah. I had explained to Nick and my wife yesterday what a Color Match Light was. Speaking of my wife, this weekend is my wedding anniversary. I am married how many years, Nick? Uh, we did the math yesterday. It's 33. I'm married for 33 years to the same girl. Could you imagine? That's crazy. That's crazy. She's right? crazy, dude. To well, I mean, yeah, she always says I'm crazy, but I say, listen, you married me. You're definitely the crazy one. So shout out to my wife, 33 years, and uh, we still are. I still consider myself the happiest married guy in the world. Anyway, back to tools. Back to tools. What else we got? Oh. I've been going down, and I hate to admit it, but I've been I, I, in my tool truck. When I'm driving my tool truck, I've been listening to the Johnny Depp trial. I love Hollywood. I love Hollywood. I said it last night. They're, they're they're just white trash living in mansions. Oh my God! It's it the, the Johnny Depp trials blow my mind. It's like you know he 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 was a very politically motivated guy. Was very outspoken about the current our, our past president presidents, right? I mean, like he was out of his mind. Like, but meanwhile, you are sniffing up half of Peru, right? <laughs> You're drinking every vineyard in in in, in the world dry. You're a mess, and you're telling me how I gotta live? Could you imagine? Private island, private chef, private jets, and you're gonna tell me what I'm doing wrong? I'm over here trying to sell some <laughs> tools. And I gotta listen to Johnny Depp who's sniffing coke. I hope him and his girlfriend both get busted ass broke and get banned from Hollywood because they're both <laughs> bags. What? Wow. I hate that shit. 
Here I am, working my ass off. If I say one bad word, boom, boom, banned. And this is a, a literal piece of shit. Guys, another news. I managed to piss off the entire 3D printing world, right? Yes. So I, I, was, I was just doing me. But for years, I sell a lot of Milwaukee tools. I sell some DeWalt. We sell a little bit of everything through the years. And everybody always sends me these 3D printed holders for the tools for the batteries. And you know what? At the end of the day, they are absolute garbage and trash. I've been using them in my tool truck, and they, and they, they, they break. They don't use enough fill because they're trying to save money. And they're absolute garbage. So I ran across this guy. Well, somebody tagged me on a post on TikTok. The guy asked me my address and sent me a free sample of these. And these are tool holders, but they're not 3D printed trash. These are resin uh, molded. So these are like bulletproof. So I was in my basement, the production center, the basement. It's still not the garage. I keep my forklift in the garage. And I hit it with a hammer, nothing happened, right? Nothing happened. I hit the 3D printed one, what happened, Nick? It smashed it to a million pieces. Smashed it to a million pieces like a, like a, like a, like a, like a champagne bottle and almost and hit Nick too, I felt bad. Watch it on TikTok, you'll see it. And it's funny because there was another guy who copied the same exact video we did. And, and it's fun. And I didn't watch it because I don't watch anybody else's shit. I just watch me. I'm a narcissist. A true narcissist only watches himself and nobody else. But everybody was t commenting that somebody else did the video, which is, you know what I say, right? Copying is most sincere from f form of flattery. And when you're not an original guy, and I'm sure he's probably shopping for a globe right now, because, you know, when you don't have an original idea, you just copy everybody else's ideas. Me, I come out with new shit. Like this. Like this. You know, I've never seen nobody do this before you. No. You know, this I copied, I'll, you know, I copied somebody's idea with this, but these are my ideas. You know, I wish I would've thought of this idea. But I didn't! But I'll sell That's them. That's a lot of work, yeah, I would rather just sell them. Fourteen ninety five, three three pack, resin. You're not gonna break this, I don't care if you hit it with a sledgehammer. I will hit it with a sledgehammer, trust me. You might need to do it in green. Well, the problem is, Nick, Milwaukee's are red, the DeWalt's are yellow, the, the shitty Makita, yeah, and I said that, the shitty Makita are, Blue or green, whatever, whatever the color they call it. Let me tell you something. I've been on a quest to find these things. Break caliber files. Break caliber files. Okay. I found this. I, I know who makes this one, but it's single sided. I want a dual sided one, and I want uh, a lot of them because I'm going to package them up with the caliber brush, right? Big break caliber guys. Well, I, I I got a good deal on it. I got a good deal on these, and I want to mix them with these. I want I want I want to bring them both to the party and let them leave the party together. That's what I want to do. It's my idea. And while I'm at it, Nick said we got we got to sell some of these. We have a, a situation in the back room. Yeah, we bought a lot. Nick, Nick bought a lot. Not me. Nick bought a lot. So what I'm gonna do? Because I feel bad for these sitting on a shelf where they need a home. I'm gonna give you a free mini pry bar, right? Yep, ninety nine dollars for the, the whole setup. Really? That's good. And that fits right in here. I mean, he, the price has gone up on them. But the pr ninety nine dollars is pretty good. Hang on, Nick. The price went up. Yeah. The price went up. Could you imagine? The price went up. Everything's going up! What the fuck is going on? Right? I talked to uh, our good friend today, Mr. Pippi. Oh, yeah, what's he doing? His friend who has the other plier company in America. He's like, oh, he's like, he, you know, so my, my buddy called me. He said, I feels bad. He really dropped the ball. He never called you guys back. We've yeah, talked did. about this numerous fing times. He did drop the ball. I'm sorry, he did what? He did drop the How ball. How many times? A couple. <laughs> And I said, Greg, I go, this is the problem with American companies. They don't call back their f They don't call nobody back. Why? Right? At least he knows he dropped the ball. Oh, he dropped the ball numerous times. I'm going to call you Monday. Monday good. You want to call Friday? I said, I'm, anytime you want to call. And we, we had a falling out the other day with uh, a, 3D, a, a 3D printing company. The guy said, oh, yeah, I'll send, you some free, I'll send you some samples. Never got them. I'll send you some samples. Never got them. And I'm like, buddy, you know what? Stick the samples up your ass. I'm done with you. So he's like, well, I already, and this is a true story. I can bring it up my phone. He's like, I already sent you the samples. So if you can at least send them back to me so I don't lose the money, I'd appreciate that. Right? And they still never came. So he lied the third time. What a <laughs> And you want me to embrace the 3D, the 3D printing and community? <laughs> them guys. What? I'm going to buy my own 3D printing trash. What? I don't think we have enough time to 3D print. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be a 3D printing guy. I'm not 3D printing anything. <laughs> ha! 
Nick's got enough projects, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's the problem with 3D printing. There's a couple problems. The main problem, and I know nothing about it, but I, you know, I have common sense, and apparently a lot of you guys in 3D printing don't have any common sense. You don't use enough filler. You guys get cheap. You buy a box of filler rods, and you want to get 30 pieces out of it when you can probably only get 10. You got to make it solid, guys, so it doesn't break. Stop selling trash. And that's the problem. It takes forever to make, you know, you want to make little one of these out, it takes you five hours. Yeah, I think it's cool if you want to make something for yourself, but I don't think it's, it has any production value. No. I was by one of our manufacturers, and he was, they had a 3D printing machine running, and I was like, like, you know, what do you print? I can't say what they're making. He's like, what are you making? He's like, oh, I'm making this. I was like, oh, how long is it going to run? He goes, this will be running about 28 hours. I mean, 28 hours? <laughs> they actually have some young interns working for them, and they buy a machine and let them bring it to their house so they can print stuff at night. Could you imagine? That's insane. Yeah. And he was showing, they still, they still had their first generation printing machine, uh, and it was the size of a refrigerator. They're big. They're big. Now they're, you know, they're little tiny pieces of shit. You can three, you can three D print a house. You know that? Really? I was watching on TV. They were three print, three D oh, print house. The three D printing wormhole. Now? They were doing. Well, I, listen, I was, I was gonna buy some gear, put, put you to work downstairs, kid. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you fix. I'm gonna make you a three D printer. No. <laughs> anyway, listening. Here's the deal. Tool truck broke down. Do I want to go to work? or Do I want to stay here? That's the thing. Me, I'm getting ready to uh, park the truck. It's a little. Uh, a little bit, uh, you know, getting a little uh, too much for the old guy these days. Want to drive a tool truck? No. Mr. Pippi said, oh, you should be driving a tool truck. No. <laughs> he said, why don't you put Nick Jr. in a tool truck? And it's funny, because any time I tell anybody, yeah, I'm just... Uh, the guys, listen to me. I'm leaving on top of the game. I'm not leaving because I have to. I'm leaving because I want to. And it's funny, because the first thing everybody says is, you should put Nick Jr. in a tool truck. First of all, Nick Jr. wouldn't go in that tool truck with a gun to his head. Wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't put a gun to his head to do it because it sucks. It's a rough business, man. And I know when you're out there in Toledo and it's everybody's honest and good and you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. I would do I would do that like a Toledo, like you know, like a rural, not like rural, but like you know, the nice, clean, honest area. How about paved roads? I like paved roads. Paved roads. Parking. Parking's nice too. Nice drop. Nice dropping. Not your roof return. Yeah, man. I work in North New Jersey, and it's a. It was. It was founded no in 1666, and they still have cobble. A lot of cobblestone roads. So the roads are absolutely horrendous. And I don't know if you heard. There's a little situation of a pandemic. Well, there was a pandemic before the World War Three, so they they kind of stopped paving roads and maintaining roads properly. Is there anything I left? Out? Oh, we got these a bunch of these in stock. Yeah, bulldozers. How much are these? I think like 50 bucks. Yeah, they're on the, uh, they're on the app. Well, we got a lot of, we got a lot more coming. And I, uh, you know, the, the set at Home Depot is not this set. It's a different part number. And it's so funny, like we, we'll post something. It could be, it could, I, I get posted this for a dollar. And then people will be like, I found it for 99 cents, you're a crook. Right? Yeah, so, like, I had that so, yesterday with some guy on email. <laughs> oh my God. He asked me for prices on stuff, he's like, Nah, I think I'm gonna go with the local hardware store. They have a better deal. Okay, <laughs> you could just not respond. You could just yeah. We listen. We can't get every sale in the world. We try, but we can't, and we're okay with that. We're just happy with our, our little community. We have we have a very loyal following on Facebook. We have a very loyal following on TikTok. We got a very loyal following on YouTube, and we have a, a believe it or not, this is this is not a, a movie set. This is a walk-in store, and Nick has a very 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 uh, loyal following that comes here, right? Yeah. All right, listen, I'm going to take my globe, and I'm going to clean this mess up, and I'm going to wrap this day up. We're going to get this video up for you guys tomorrow on Friday, do a little release release, and uh, we're going to uh, make things happen, Captain. And I got, I'm going on my first, I'm going on my first, like, car, I've been riding motorcycles my whole life, going all kinds of runs. I'm going on my first car run Sunday. What do you think about that? That's cool. Yeah, I'm doing a cigar run, okay? A cigar run. A cigar run. From point A to point B, it's about, about an hour, about an hour and a half. Where do the cigars come in? They the it stops at Easton, Pennsylvania, Leaf Lounge. Oh, okay. So it's going to be from from point A, which is going to be the Whitney Houston uh, Service Plaza, because she's from New Jersey, Irvington. No longer with us. She died in a bathtub. So did her daughter. Strange. I don't know if they named things after crackheads. Oh, they did. And, 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 and they, 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 the name of the funeral parlor that buried her was called Cotton Funeral Parlor. 
and it's in Newark, New Jersey, and they still have a picture of her. If you drive by, they have a picture of her in a window. Okay? Fun, little fun fact. I, I pass it every Friday. That's dark. Uh, every, I'm sorry, every Thursday. It used to be Friday, now it's Friday, now it's Thursday. Soon to be, I'm not gonna pass it anymore. Yeah, that, that is dark, right? That is dark. That's crazy, but they have a picture sitting in the front window. Like, hey, we buried this bitch. <laughs> now, listen, when she died, I said that I think that the, the Houston family should stop taking baths and switch to showers. <laughs> right? That's good advice. <laughs> That's good advice, right? Anyway, listen. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Buy some tools so I don't lose my mind. And like, comment, subscribe because I got more gems like this coming. Okay? Come for the price. Stay for the show. Peace.